Dick Justice here bringing you a Rhino. This is Generations Rhinox. Uh, of note, this butt piece here is soft plastic, so you can reenact Ace Ventura if you have a Lego guy or something in the right size to this. I don't, so I'm not going to. Um, they, they did very well on this Rhino form, really. This here is the only thing that's not Rhino colored, except maybe, you know, the backs of his heels or I guess those are his feet and then this hinge here but uh, pretty good the mouth opens and he's a rhino uh, transformation you want to start by unpegging these there is a tab here so you don't want to break off the tab you just want to unpeg it and kind of fold these off to the back here that lets you take out his chain guns and then you want to fold his his feet down and then this whole rear portion comes down and snaps on like that now let's see that again this time in slow motion this whole piece comes around and snaps on like that then you can get his waist out of the way so that you can rotate it around and bring it back. And I'll get to the positioning of the waist momentarily. This piece folds down, this piece folds down, head assembly. That was mostly off camera, wasn't it? I don't really care. That whole assembly slides down. These that we got out of the way earlier slide in and rotate a little bit. And the arms come out and that when the arms come out that lets you smash everything in together there then on the back you fold up the aft piece bring down the head piece pull out the arms flip his hands out And here we have Rhinox in robot mode. Uh, I'm a Beast Wars guy, so Rhinox is perhaps my favorite of the most recent toy releases out there. Um, the point that I missed about the waist is it kind of looks awkward here, but the waist actually folds back so that the waist rotation is uh, parallel to the ground. I thought at first it was weird because it was not parallel to the ground, but the waist actually goes back until the, it is parallel to the ground. Um, his chain guns, you just unpeg those from each other and then fold the handle around and he can hold them. They spin, which was my favorite feature of the original Rhinox because it's spun. Uh, size comparison, here he is with Mastermind's Fortis in foot mode. So as you can see, he will come up to Predaking's knee, give or take, a little bit. And here he is with Pokey. Uh, you can see he's larger than Pokey, uh, but much more nostalgic than Pokey, at least for me. Um, I don't know if I would go so far as to call this Masterpiece Rhinox, but they did a damn good job of matching it to the show model. Um, I didn't watch Beast Wars as an adult until after I had Rhinox, and every time Rhinox came on screen, it was just like, that looks exactly like my toy. They even got his uh, Maximal logos on his head that you barely even notice on the show on there. So that is Transformers Generations Rhinox.